All right, how you doing? Uh, I don't put up many videos, so if you're back to watch another one of my puzzle part designing videos, thank you for returning. Uh, recently, I built this puzzle box that I thought was pretty neat. Hopefully, I'll put a picture of it right here. But the client that asked me to make it for him asked that I not do a video or put stuff on social media about it because they didn't want to be tempted uh, to watch it and see the solve and see how it all works before they get a chance to play with it. So didn't do a video of it, but there's one of the mechanisms in there that I want to do a version 2.0. Uh, and, and it's gonna be made out of these bits, mostly. Uh, so the idea is have one tube, force air into another tube, but have a break in there somewhere uh, that if you don't have it, push the button. Uh, not exactly sure how I'm gonna fire this one yet or make it actuate, uh, but we'll see. So if you're watching this, it means hopefully it was successful because I haven't made it yet. So uh, I bought myself a cheap Chinese metal lathe that we'll go over to and start turning these pieces. So the first thing I need to do uh, that I'm going to do is I'm gonna make the piston that will go inside there. So I need to turn this piece down to a piston then I'm gonna take this and create a plug that will go on this side. Then I will have to do the same thing for this, make a piston and a plug to go in it. All right, let's do it, it's hot in here. All right, so now that we're on the lathe, uh, we're gonna do lathe stuff, like facing the material, getting it turned down to the correct diameter, doing all the fun lathe stuff, I know probably boring watching me make shavings. Uh, the good thing is, this is the only part of the video where you're actually gonna really watch me doing this because uh, it was so hot in my garage that my camera decided to turn off. It just said, no, I'm not going to work. So most of the stuff I did on the lathe uh, didn't make it because the camera wasn't working. It was giving me that little symbol and it says, you're too hot. But anyways, uh, since this is a cheap Chinese lathe, it doesn't do that great. Uh, so I kind of fit it so by, by feel, and then I put these grooves in there to hold the, uh, you know, the little rubber thingies. The, uh, I just forgot the name of them. And you see me playing with it anyways. That's gonna give it the seal around uh, the inside of that copper tube. Make sure it fits, take them back off, then I gotta drill the hole for the shaft to fit to it. And I do all of the fitting just right there on the lathe. So there I am cutting the uh, threads uh, for the art piece to thread into. And like I said, you don't have to watch me make those pieces because uh, yeah, this video is long enough as it is anyways. And then we just part it off and uh, yeah, and I come back and I talk at you some more. I forget what I have to tell you. All right, so like I just probably hopefully told you, uh, yeah, it was rather hot in the garage here yesterday to the point where the camera shut off. And I don't really suspect you wanted to watch me sit on the lathe for a long montage of sped up material of me doing a voiceover, but you did I'm sorry but I got all the pieces made so we've got the main tube then that's got this dealio that will be the cap on the back side we have the piston that goes inside of it we have the piece that attaches to the piston and the handle I kind of made it oversized I don't know why. so that will Slip in there, and once I put some uh, grease in there, it'll move easier. But for right now, that's working pretty darn good. It's got a good tight seal, and this is the other shaft. The same thing, but just smaller. So it has a small cap that goes on the back side of it. Then this is the piston that goes on the inside, basically shoots out uh, kind of like a bullet so it's 
not as long, it's shorter, so that way it can get a little bit of movement to hit the compartment it's gonna to hit to open, to push it. Now the reason why this one is so much larger than this one is air compresses. Uh, it's not like I'm doing a liquid in there. So if it was liquid, which this won't work for that because of the next part I need to make. Uh, yeah, it worked. It does one to one, but since the air compresses, uh, this needs to be significantly smaller than this to get it to work right. So now what I'm going to do, instead of uh, brazing or soldering it together, because I don't think this aluminum and copper will solder very well, uh, this piece would, uh, being that they're both brass, and this brass probably won't solder very well into that aluminum. Uh, I'm going to epoxy them together. So, I will do that right now. All right, so while these pieces are gluing, uh, it's time to get started on the next step. So the whole point of this is, you know, I could put this together and have a tube run from this one to this one, and every time you push it, it will force the rod out the other side. But that's not what I wanted to do. I only wanted to do that when you perform a certain action. So we basically need to put a switch in. Uh, to allow air to flow or not to flow. So when it's sitting in its natural state, it will be sitting in an open state. So when I push the piston in here, the air will come out in the middle somewhere and not allow the air to reach this tube. But when depressed, it closes off that void and allows the air to continue through the system. So the first one I made of this, uh, I kept it super simple. Uh, it's almost hidden. This time, I actually want to make a button. So something spring-loaded that you depress, and when it's depressed, you're covering basically an internal hole. Uh, and then when it's not pressed, the spring will let it come back up, and it will work just fine. If I do it like this, this will just hold it down. So I can't be something like that. So my thought is, uh, basically two little plates that will come together uh, and have uh, rubber on each side. So when you're pushing it, you're basically creating a little rubber seal. So you got to hold that down, push the rod in at the same time. I'm not exactly sure what this is going to look like yet. As you can see, I have not drawn anything down. So I'm going to create this all out of my brain as we go. Yeah, like even I guess if I take like these two rods here, these are both open-ended. That fits fairly well in there. If I have a spring, yeah, I'm working through this as I'm talking with you right now. So take a spring, this spring should. We put that spring on there. And if that spring is internal, so if I put a flange on this side and a flange on this side that kind of has a recess in it for that spring to sit down into. So actually you'll probably, well I can cut the spring down to size but if it's sealed off on top, yeah, that might work. That might work. Let's play with that idea. All right.
Okay, I got those pieces made. Everything fits nice. So let me walk you through the concept of how this is going to work. So what's going to happen is I'm going to take this rod here and he fits right in there. It's going to stick out just a little bit. Then this spring goes inside that space. Then this will be attached together and then it'll sit in there. So this here will push out and probably have to make something for that to sit in, a little cage, a little holder. But when you push it, it'll close those two sides up and I'll have to put some sort of rubber, some kind of material to help seal that when it closes. But when it's springed open, the air will leak out of this area right here. And when it's closed, air doesn't leak out. So I'll completely seal the ends of these guys. I'll have to cut this guy down, fill in the end of that piece, and maybe even create a different button that'll sit on the outside of the box for it. So that's my idea. And being that this is all brass, I'm debating on brazing it with my soldering iron or just gluing again. I might just braze these pieces together. So now that those are together, I am going to have to make a junction box for the back of this for the air to pass through. Uh, and what I've done in the past is literally just cut that down and solder another rod right to it. Uh, so I think I'll probably do the same thing for this one. I'm just wondering if I want to wait to do that. But first, I do need, you know, I can take and sand those solder joints, clean them up. Even though you're never going to see it. It's all going to be concealed. But I know it's there. And if you ever take it apart, I want it to look cool. have some uh, it's like cosplay putty stuff that turns into a foam kind of wondering if I should put that on the end of here some of that foam to create that uh, seal at the end there's that or uh, one second or if I could use an o-ring that's just Nope, you are too small. So I guess the issue with doing an O-ring on here is you gotta keep it in one place. I wonder if I put a couple dabs of CA glue on top of this and just lay the O-ring into it. 
if it'll stay. You know what? There's only one way to find out. Uh, that's to do it. So, I'm going to rough the surface up. And I will grab some CA glue. dab down there. Another one on this side. Probably not. Will it hurt if I do? No. Squish them together. Those two O-rings will seal up. This will be sealed so there will no longer be a place for the air to escape. It will be forced to go to this one. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna go get some coffee and think about this. <sighs> I need more coffee. So I just did a whole spiel to camera. Um, <laughs> making this piece, uh, I was not recording that whole time. The camera was uh, not recording. So yeah, I got this piece all made up, but now I want to test it. So I need to put this on some sort of test stand, but I also need to seal the end of this first. And I found that this little brass rod fits perfectly in there. So what I'm probably going to do is stick that in there, take this and solder it in place and then cut the end off bit I don't need and that cap the end piece will be sealed and now that is going to be visible you will be able to see that end so I'm gonna have to make it look a little prettier than it does right now I'll sand that all right well I got that cleaned up enough for now I am going to put together a little test stand and see if this idea works. move this rod, nothing happens. Let's see if I can hold this all together, but if I take this, push it down, oh, there it goes. There, it act, yep, it works. Actually, if I, if I push you in, I should be able to set this right there. It should suck it in. Ooh. 
So it comes out. It doesn't come out. So that seal does work. All right, now I'm gonna take this. I already put some uh, lubricant on there. It's just some clear silicone grease. And I'm gonna put a little on the back side of this just to give it just that little bit more sealing ability in there to give it a little more power. So this one here doesn't fit perfectly tight in the tube because if it fits too tight, it just doesn't work. And if it's too loose, it doesn't work at all. So now, when I push it, it comes out. Hopefully this one's the right size. Yeah. All right, so there we go. It, uh, it works so far. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to make that tube or that rod a little tighter in there or not. If I do, I'll just remake it. Um, but yeah, I'm not exactly sure what this puzzle box is gonna be. Uh, I haven't gotten that far yet. I thought this was an interesting, neat, concept and I wanted to make it and I made it it's working now he's got to figure the rest of it out so I'm probably gonna put this video up sorry for bumping the microphone um, before I even start on building the actual box of the puzzle box so if you have any ideas of what you think would be interesting or neat to do leave them in the comments um, I got no theme Got nothing figured out for this one yet. Just, it's going to have this that's going to open a secret compartment on the outside of the box that will give you tools to get into the box. Uh, I mean, if we want to go with a cipher style box where this, you know, gives you a clue, or if you want it to have it be tools, um, let me know. I'll let you guys decide. Um, how this is going to go forward and there's not a lot of you so if you give me a suggestion i'll probably use it all right till next time yeah make puzzles <laughs>